stop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. And then just macro up with their, their tier 3 units for May, whether he goes for Templar tech and goes for early Archons, perhaps Storms, depending on what Ruff goes for. May try to go for some Colossi as well. But again, I'm not really sure what rough style here is in TVP, so we'll have to see how it goes. But so far, been imp impressive in the other map matchups. Yeah, we'll see if his Terran versus Protoss is as interesting and non-normal as his Terran versus Terran and his Terran versus Zerg. As the game gets underway, we have Ruff spawning as the blue Terran player on the top left-hand side of the map. Or sorry, excuse me, top right-hand side of the map as I was looking at my overlay instead. Oops. And May spawning here as the orange Protoss on the top left-hand side of the map. As we already see an early SCV making its way out. So what do you come of this? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't uh, seem like that SCV has very kind intentions in mind. Uh, he might be placing down a proxy Rax, maybe two, as he's sending out just one SCV at the moment. But uh, it looks like he's going to be scouting immediately, and I think that uh, Protoss is going to be able to see this. And it looks like Ruff uh, placing down, uh, or making sure to stay on the edge of the the base of the Protoss, and now he was able to see that... Uh, this is indeed where the Protoss has spawned, seeing the uh, the minerals there shining as the probes were mining them, and now he's going to be placing a barracks inside the base of Ume. Yeah, I, I, I did make sure I held onto the SCV, I checked his vision, he did do the mineral scouting where the minerals slightly glow, you can also tell that there's um, minerals have been mined from that mineral patch already as May currently just building up his gateway and going for a pretty standard build, so uh, we are going to see a probe now make its way out, and what we need to see from Ruff is Ruff needs to get a, com or a barracks down over here on his side of the map as well, otherwise um, May is going to suspect that something is up, if May has been watching the streams, he must most definitely definitely knows that a rough is not your standard straight straight shooter type of player as this game now gets underway we're the barracks finishing right now and rough is going to be coming out with an early uh marine we'll see if a bunker goes down yes it does so may is going to be scouting here he's going to see the command center he's going to see the orbital command coming in he knows a barracks is finished somewhere but he is not sure where it is and at the moment he is now chronoing out or doing his best to chrono out a zealot but he's a little bit supply blocked there and the zealot is immediately going to be rallied down to the center of the map and that's not where he needs to be yeah rough currently has one bunker now being completed and i think what rough can do is i think he can start chaining these bunkers and start using the teleporting trick with those marines one second bunker now being placed down another SCV also on the inside as well as the probes now coming over and the marines are now fighting back the marines jumping inside the bunker that poor poor zealot will be able to get some damage onto that SCV over there that zealot running along the far side and will that SCV get taken down yes that SCV is now down uh, SCB going to start trying to repair it over there as this one Zealot once again runs away even further. We are getting another Stalker trying to get queued up. And if he takes down that Pylon, that would be an absolute nightmare for May as the Zealot is now taken down. You can see additional Pylons are trying to be worked in as well as the Marines are going to get surrounded, jumping into the bunker at just the right moment. And now another bunker coming in. And this is an absolute pleasure, folks, to try to cast for you guys because I can't really explain it. Yeah, I mean, we're just seeing some uh, interesting strategies. You might call them cheeses, but in a, a best of one like this, anything goes. Your your job is to win the game, and he's coming out with this bunker pressure. And once again, not a lot of scouting. Uh, I think that the Protoss player didn't know about this as soon as he made it into Ruff's base. And now trying to use this one stalker and all these probes to defend against this. Ruff has two well-positioned bunkers here. It's going to be shutting down the mining. And now two Stalkers and Probes going to try to be taking down. I would take down this SCV first and foremost. Looks like he will be focusing that down. One more shot in that SCV will go down. There it goes. So now coming out with Marines, but no more repairs on the bunkers. And uh, the Stalkers just can start taking a few shots at that. And it looks like uh, one of the bunkers... Not quite sure what Ruff's doing back and forth with some bunker micro here. Yeah, the bunker micro there to make sure that the stalker is unable to get damage onto one of the bunkers. He wants both of them. And there's the GG. Wow, so an all kill coming from Ruff. And uh, you know, team, infinity, team Infinity going down to one man in impressive fashion. A lot of early game tactics. We saw the one 
a pretty long game in TBT, but even in that game, we saw a very unconventional strategy coming from Ruff. Yeah, those games were just really interesting to cast. I, I mean, you always have to be be aware of games like this where the players can try to go for unorthodox strategies, unorthodox play, and if you're if you're not able to respond to it fast enough, fast enough, or or at least try to scout it out, you are gonna have problems. Yeah, I mean, some people uh, have a little bit of problem with cheese in games, but you know, four games in a row, you have an opportunity to knock this guy off. So, I think you have to give uh, Ruff his due. He was able to take down uh, four very strong players uh, with some pretty interesting strategies. The ZB or the TBZ was three racks twice in a row, and neither Zerg could really handle it. And then the TBT, as we said before, was the the Reaper expand into an immediate gold, and he was able to kind of take advantage of that the entire game and then here we see the definite cheese and it worked the bunker play up against the minerals quite strong and i think we have something special since this was an all kill and vvv rough is relatively new let me check for just a moment whether we have a few more games coming for the uh, stream here all right so we'll see if we have any additional games as i as um, you know matron talks with vvv gaming